Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss the uh, C10 and C20 in uh, solar batteries. We would like to understand what is the meaning of having a C10 rating and C20 rating in the solar batteries. Okay, so first what do C10 and C20 mean? So sometimes you will find batteries as an example 150 ampere hour batteries as you know this is the rating of any battery so this battery as you can see have uh, two uh, ratings and instead of only 150 you will see also c10 and c20 so as an example 150 ampere battery c20 or c20 150 ampere battery and another one c10 150 ampere hour battery so they have the same uh, rating which is 150 the only difference is c10 and c20 so what is the difference the first thing is that the battery capacity okay the battery capacity is measured in ampere hour which is ah which is ampere hour and also defined by another thing called the C rating or cycle cycle rating. Okay, so we have ampere hour and C rating. Now, ampere hour, if you don't know what does ampere hour mean, this simply is a unit of measurement of the um, energy can be supplied by the battery. Okay, in a certain time. Okay, so simply ampere hour, it is consisting of two elements, ampere, which is the current, okay, and hour representing the time, multiplied by each other. So the current multiplied by time gives us ampere hour, okay. So what does this mean? It means it will supply a certain load. Okay. For example, let's say 10 ampere in a time of 15 hours. Okay. So if we have a load that takes 10 ampere, we can supply uh, energy to this uh, or power to this uh, load or current to this load which is 10 ampere for a time equal 15 hours now the multiplication of this two 10 multiplied by 15 is 150 ampere hour okay which is the capacity of the uh, battery itself okay another example let's say the current um, is for example 15 15 ampere this is our load we can multiply this by 10 hours to get 150 ampere hour so as you can see we have two identical batteries 150 ampere hour 150 ampere hour but there is a difference between them one of them supplies 15 ampere the other one supplies 10 ampere the first one supplies power in 10 hours and second one supplies in 15 hours so as you can see there is a difference here they have the same capacity however they have different discharging time okay so that's why here we will have a c10 and c20 and also c5 c100 and so on there are many many types okay so what is the difference again so the c rating is the safest maximum continuous discharge rate that the battery can support okay so as an example c10 what does this mean it means 10 means 10 hours okay 20 c20 means 20 hours so c20 or c10 is the safest maximum continuous discharge rate 
So what does this mean? It means that the battery can discharge maximum discharge time of 10 hours safely. And 20 means maximum discharge time 20 hours safely. So this battery is designed to discharge in a maximum time of 10 hours. Okay, you should not um, discharge it in a lower time. Okay, this is the safest time. Okay, and 20 is the safest time for the C20. So as you can see, this rating, which is the C rating, is obtained by connecting the load to a battery. Okay, the C10, C20, C5, whatever. Making it dead in a 5 or a 10 or a 20 hour period. So if we connect the battery to a certain load, Okay, and this battery is dead in five hours, then this battery is known as C5. If this battery is dead in 10 hours, then it is C10. If it is dead in 20 hours, then it is C20. And so on. Okay. Now, assume we have two batteries here with a capacity of 150 ampere hour, which is uh, C10 and C20. Okay, one of them is C10, other is C20, but they have the same ampere hour. C10, what does this mean? It means it will last for about 10 hours, connected to a 15 ampere load. Okay, so 10 multiplied by 15 is 150, which is the capacity for 150 ampere hour. And it should not be discharged within 10 hours. If acted otherwise, the battery life decreases. Okay, so what does this mean if we, for example, connected it to a load, for example, 30 ampere? Okay, so its capacity is 150 ampere hour. Okay, so multiplied by what? multiplied by 5 hours so 5 hours multiplied by 30 ampere gives us 150 ampere hour so this battery is designed to be discharged in 10 hours okay long time okay longer time than 5 hours now assume that we connected it instead of 15 ampere load we connected it to a higher excess uh, load current 30 ampere double the current what will happen? It will take five hours to discharge. Okay, lower time. However, this battery is discharged to in 10 hours, not five hours. So if you do this lots of time, this battery life will decrease. Okay, as this battery C10 is designed to discharge in 10 hours, not five hours. Now C20. It means 20 hours multiplied by a value of uh, time gives us 150 ampere hour. So 20 multiplied by 7.5 gives us 150 ampere, which is the capacity. What does this mean? This battery is designed to discharge in 20 hours. If, for example, you discharge it in 10 hours instead of 20, this uh, battery life will decrease. Okay, so if you use 10 hours, which means a load of 15 ampere, this will cause the battery to uh, life or the life of the battery will decrease. Okay. So according to my own application, I will choose C10 or C20 or C5 or a C100 and so on. Okay. Now remember that the faster the battery gets the discharges, discharged, the lesser energy will get out of it. Okay. The faster, if you discharge it faster, it means it will take less energy out of this battery. Now. You have to know also that C10, since it takes a shorter time, 10 hours only, it is known as fast discharge, okay? And C20 
is regarded as or considered as a medium discharge medium discharge it takes 20 hours okay this one is fast 10 hours fast time 20 hour is medium time okay or higher time than c10 now when to use c10 and c20 c10 as you can see it is discharged fast okay so this one what does this mean c10 again as an example 150 ampere hour it takes 10 hour to discharge and at the same time supplies a load of 15 ampere so it supplies larger load okay however c20 more time but a smaller load right smaller load okay so for our application for example in solar and industrial applications we need more power or more current in a short time okay so it can deliver more energy in short time so it is used in solar energy applications and industrial applications also uh -huh. also c20 rated batteries are not used in this case why because if you use it in large load if you use c20 in large load this battery will um, discharge fast okay because you are consuming excesses uh, excessive amount of current which will reduce its lifetime okay now c20 when we use c20 are used usually in uh, when the outage of power the load is smaller small loads and the charging time is long like what like ubs or uninterruptible uh, power supply okay uh, what is a ubs you can find it in our course in uh, solar energy or you can find it also in the electrical design and also in our youtube channel so what does a ubs mean or the uninterruptible power supply simply it is used to supply power when the uh, grid power is off okay when we don't have uh, electricity from the grid we use ubs to supply power to the critical loads the important loads as an example small loads like bulbs and fans so as you can notice here is that the bulbs and fans are small loads small loads which means small ampere right however c20 is a longer time okay so this will help us to uh, discharge these batteries in longer time which means it can supply power for a long time for small loads okay so uh, in brief the the type of batteries which is c10 c10 is used when we are dealing with large loads c20 is used when we are dealing with small loads c10 is used when we have uh, solar energy applications uh, c20 is used in the ubs also you can find also c5 which you can found in uh, mobile batteries okay so this video is about the difference between uh, c10 and c20 or the uh, c rating in batteries also i will leave you this uh, pdf document battery basics you can read about different uh, types of batteries and you can learn about sizing batteries and more uh, valuable information okay i will leave you the link to this um, pdf file so you can download it now before you go i would like to uh, invite you to our academy khadija academy for electrical engineering courses you will find many many courses in electrical engineering like electric circuits power electronics solar energy electrical machines electrical design substations matlab plc 
uh, power system faults and so on okay you can find many many uh, courses paid courses and free courses for everyone now as an example for this lesson you can find here the uh, so our ultimate uh, solar energy course you will find here for example many many lessons about mounting uh, how to do the batteries uh, design of the off-grid system uh, here you will find the on-grid system uh, here how to design using the bvss the program the on-grid and off-grid here you will find about the solar water pumping system the protection of solar energy system the design of bv system using excel sheet here basics of autocad and single line diagram of the bv system design of the grounding system and matlab and etab bv simulation so this course is helpful for anyone who would like to start learning about solar energy you will find this course in the description of this lesson you will also find the link of the course in the uh, first comment of the comment section thank you and see you in another tutorial